Wow, today I turn on this video with nothing to say. So the other day, I started writing this. So the other day, I started writing this crazy song. It's pretty crazy. So, uh, can't talk about that. Watching the news, and here's the young kid that, uh, Allegedly attacked the uh, police officer here in the Bay Area. And this guy at the movie theater. Turn this off. Eight o'clock in the morning here in California. And um, of course, last night uh, there was a shooting in Louisiana. So I'm going to go ahead and start this uh, video off by giving my condolence to the state of Louisiana. And um, I hate this little glare inside the um, lens here. Hmm. wonder if I can fix this, what happened? See that more? That's why you don't um, normally use a camera that's built in on the computer. So, um, church shooting, movie theater shooting, the shooting, it's almost three years ago today at the movie theater, the shooting with the senator in um, uh, Arizona, shooting uh, of uh, Trayvon Martin, uh, shooting uh, at the Army base just recently, um, the mass shooting overseas with those uh, kids, I think in uh, Germany a couple years ago, Columbine. other shootings. The one shootout uh, with the bank robber and they, they had the full body armor. Um, hmm. Then of course all that stuff with the military stuff. And then all those beheadings. That don't count. So those beheadings, it's not shooting. And then all the police shooting. And then, regardless of what color or who got what and what happened to who or these people, those people. And then, it's people being killed. It's other humans just being killed. very nonsensical, you know what I think? So, not good. People just go out, boom, going to get something to eat and idiot shoots them. Yeah, there was a shooting on the freeway. Shooting, 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 shooting. I want people to go look. Look it up. Whenever a culture gives up its weapons to the government, whenever a people in any country has given their weapons away. 
stop being able to have any weapons at all whenever, whenever in any continent, in any time period throughout history, whenever a people gave up their right to defend themselves, they were slaughtered. This is a historical fact. You can look it up in any continent, in any time, in any space, in our history. Whenever a people has given up the right to defend themselves, they were destroyed. Look it up. But, oh, and the girl who was shot by the illegal, forgot about that. When it comes to this guy, the illegal, had no right being in America, no right to be here. Um, you know, first of all, we're all human beings. When this planet was born, there was no border. So I just want to say that. But that guy did not have no right to be here. So um, apparently, he found a gun wrapped up in a towel or whatnot on the pier. He picked it up and it went off. Pow! Shot the girl. If this is true, that's an accident. But you notice something wrapped up in something. Oh, what's this wrapped up? Well, maybe I should just continue to be homeless and sit here instead of fumbling around with stuff. But no. In his mind, everything he did to try to come up in America, because that's what they tell you in America, even when I was a kid. When I was a kid in America, I'm not from Mexico, I'm not from Bolivia, I'm not from Haiti, I'm not from Saudi Arabia, I'm from America. And I was told growing up, hey, the only way you can get ahead is to sell and sell drugs. I was told that growing up. See, this is not just something, you know, derivative to uh, people overseas. There's poor white people who probably think, shit, the only way we can come up is to sell something. There's women who think, you know what, gotta sell something to make them bad too. Everybody a bad person because of the way they learn. You learn through seeing. Because you don't have an opportunity to get a job, because people are told not to give you the opportunity, find a way. Mow lawns. Then you get organized more lawns, and someone sees you doing it. They're gonna want their cut. What insurance is? You ever you ever see in those movies when the gangster comes in, and 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 the, and the poor guy at the shop is like. How can I help you? And then the two thugs start breaking shit. And they're like, hey, man, you're going to need some insurance. That's a scam. Did you know? That's a scam. So, you need insurance so this like this don't happen again. See, America needed insurance. In a world that started without borders, see, when you come in and you put borders in, and you build a government, hey, you need a government there. And then you say, you know what, we need one government for everything. Well, what was it before you came in? What was it before you implemented your rules? Maybe it was like that. 
maybe everybody got the opportunity to have their own district. You can go from here to there. Rome. Cities pop up. Cities are run by whoever this guy is. He could have enough to build his own city. There's no governance by any one body. People got to govern themselves. This organized hooliganism called governmentalism, the government only brigade. There's no way you can build a government and it don't get bigger. It's supposed to get bigger. That's the way it's formed. It's supposed to grow to feed the needs of the people. And it worked properly. Then people could sit back in some utopic world. Oh no, it's too many people for us to go back. Well, if you can make some GMO food that makes people infertile, then you can make some GMO food that makes people healthy and need less food. You can teach people how to use the harmonics in their brain. No. You want a utopic world, but only for a few. I heard see on news just recently, they found another planet. And when you look through some of this uh, stuff you see about the world history and how you know, aliens and bullshit and influence and all that crap and all this and mass shootings and conscious mind and blah, blah, blah. They always say the evil people Seek a new planet before they destroy the old one. It's kind of weird how they say that. And these people are like, oh, we found another Earth like planet close enough for us to get to. We're going to burn this fucking planet up and go to that one. Teach you all how to murder yourselves and kill yourselves. And then we're going to leave. That's what I get from those people who sit back and watch people run into movie theaters and shoot people. Knowing that that some of these influences are created, people do not just do this. And some people, oh yeah, we well, always have been murdering people. No, this is not how humanity is. But if you think it is, then I guess it is. You'll make that your reality. As you see in everything they've ever shown us, things get more and more and more and more twisted. Why is that? What is the purpose of twisting and bending? What is it? What is it? Making boys, girls, and girls, boys. So, what do you get? What? What do you get? You twist people's minds, and then when people speak up now, they're criticized. Well, we grew up watching Archie Bunker. Archie. Archie? We watched Archie Bunker. We had Fred Sanford. We had George Jefferson. We had a whole bunch of characters that taught people how to be. We had John Wayne. We had uh, James D. We had Marilyn Monroe. We had Meryl Streep. We had all these people in these images. We had Sidney Poitier, Lena Horne, and his long, big, giant gap. But they were too strong. We had Ozzy Davis, Ruby D. Now we got Tyler Perry and Medea. You know, they got the Dicky Minaj. And, you know, what's that girl's name? Molly Virus. I mean, that's what our kids look up to. These, these images. They got the Nickelodeon. Mm. The 
it's um, quite ridiculous. We got constant distractions. We got constant promises. We got people speaking right through the government. That's wrong. Because once you have government involved in people's rights, then there are no rights. Because the rights are mandated by the government to the people. That's why you never let the government control the rights of the people. So when um, Jim Jones took all these people out in Ghana or wherever they were and uh, told them, you all got to drink this orange juice. You have to drink the orange juice. They drank the orange juice. Then they died. When you have a mandate that you have to take this virus, I mean, vaccine, and you're forced to take the vaccine, and pretty soon they're going to come to your door with a little medical kit. It's like, you know what? We ran out of needles two houses ago. Well, just use the same one. It's a poor neighborhood. We'll be shooting people up at the door. Well, I had this one last week. No. Didn't have this one. My law didn't come in and make you take the virus. To save who? When the virus kills every so many people. Why would you do that? Why would you allow somebody to do that? Why would you allow someone else to mandate you have to get some virus. I mean, vaccine. But they got people going into a church. Shoot the church up. Take down a flag. Instead of taking down the flag, you should have put the African American flag back up. You see how people think? If they really wanted to divide and conquer, they would have said, okay, now let's raise the African American flag. That was never part of the issue, was it? Raise the African American flag. Do people even remember? what it looked like? I don't know what it looked like. What are you going to do about that? They don't even know what they're American flag really looks like. Remember the don't tread on me flag? Remember that? Remember the state of California flag with the bear on it? Maybe that's against the bear. Maybe the bears are <coughs> So, I have been trying to uh, get free to air TV. And um, in my free to air experiment for the last four months, I went from 60 channels to like 15 channels. And I'm going to tell you why the drop in channels. It was an experiment. Put the antenna up, didn't really bolt it down, just put on the end of a basketball hoop, didn't even fill the hoop full of water, threw an old, uh, one of those little weights that, you know, from the, from the 
the, the yard uh, umbrellas. And I threw that out in the yard. <laughs> they have a new channel, though. <laughs> Whoa! Let's do this experiment for long term and see what happens. And then, of course, the wind came, and then my uh, media center no longer works. Media center, we're getting some different channels. That's a different story, but now the media center does no longer work at all. It's like no media center for the kids. So um, I really like the experiment. So then I upped my game. I got the satellite dish where you can hit the, the broadcast satellites that they use. They're all in a line across the United States or somewhere. And you get the satellite dish and you line it up. And, you know, you can either point at one and, and then buy the right LMD, the dish, the LMD, the um, box and everything. And you line it up a certain way and get one satellite. But I'm like, no, I'm greedy. I got a motor, motorized dish. Now, I'll talk about Hulk Hogan later. So I, I got the satellite set up, but then my only problem with the satellite is um, when I was putting it on the house, we we're going to get a new roof, so I didn't want to put it on the roof. Then I tried to put it on a pole. Then if the pole isn't in the ground and solid, it won't work. But when I first started, I didn't have the motor yet, so I was trying to get the one satellite. And I did. I got the one satellite, but I had the wrong box. So without having the right, there's a right frequency or whatever. You pick up the free to air dishes, but you have to hit certain satellites. You know, like Galaxy 19, Galaxy 25. Uh, they have C band. It's 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 it's, it's kind of complex. But once you get into the free to air satellite, if you can, theoretically, you can watch every local channel, California to New York. So say you have like a ABC in New York. Well, of course, you're going to see the same ABC channels in California, right? But some of those local sports. You know, that, you know, like on Saturday, Sunday morning, you know, the CBS, you know, sports that are on the local channel. You get those. You get it? So you can watch your team, you know, football in New York from your house in California if you get the right satellite set up. Some shit like that, right? So, in my quest to do this, the other day I had to pour some cement and put a pole in the ground. But, Without that pole man on the ground, every time I hook this up, I would get 98% signal. But the quality of the signal was like a 20. So I wouldn't get any pictures. And every time I, you know, hit a direct TV satellite or one of those satellites, all the channels would light up. <laughs> Lock. Dollar sign. It's a trip, so I know I can get it to work. And I've been trying to do this to save money. You know, my sister-in-law's cable was $200 a month? Scratching my head. Did the internet come with that? They have uh, Comcast internet here. The internet is like $70 a month. I could use the internet on my phone, really. My phone is only like $50 a month. So, why would these people want to compete with cell phones when I can just pay an extra 4 or $5 and get another data boost I get? No, wait a minute, sorry. That's a lie. I think they sent me something in there. $10.99 will give me 10 gigs or whatever. I remember a long time ago, 
did get it when I, when I first got a cell phone as a survey. How much would you pay for a kilobyte? A kilobyte? Who, who would want to buy kilobytes and megabytes? That's just lame. You'd be an idiot to have to buy or to pay for a kilobyte. And not knowing that's what they charge me for. It's like uh, you learn. I used to do all kinds of surveys and watch TV shows three, four months before they came out and, and you know, do all that stuff. And it's sad to see what people accepted because all this is driven on those surveys. All of it. The pole. Well, pole. Try to get other girl to get on the pole. Come on, man. And they got people going in army bases, shooting. And the recruitment officers just driving up shooting. It's ridiculous. Why do people want to die? What is the whole purpose? of the suicide by, oh, I'm going to take people with me. Remember, remember the movie uh, Scarface at the end? Remember how Scarface died? Think about it. I ain't going out like that. I ain't going out. I'm going to take somebody with me if I go out. And then think about it. And then you put yourself in a position to have to go out. That's illogical. I'm not going to go out like that means something comes to you and you fend them off or fend it off with your life. Not you go fuck up something and then come. That's not how this works. That's not how any of that's supposed to work. I hate that glare. Yeah. Rough finger, Wait. not over the whole thing. Uh, that camera is done. So, what do we do? Fuck you, gotta, you gotta stop, stop thinking like that. That whole John Wayne mentality. This is my land and shit. Your land has been sold out from under your ass and they're going to run you in the dirt and when you're all done and tilled over, they're going to bring those assets in here. Look, I told you it'd be clean out for you. This is yours. You know, split it up into three or whatnot. They don't care. Why should they care? You don't care. Dude. I told you a couple of weeks ago they got me with the damn vaccine virus shit and I've been sick every fucking since. You know, every day I like a, a mucus fucking cold type thing fucking going on. You know, for what? Because I didn't want to give some kids the whooping. That shit's going to be over. I might as well take a whooping call. For what? I didn't need no death. I'm 490,000 years old. I don't need no fucking whooping cough disease virus. What the hell do I need that for? It's got aluminum in it that replicates in your blood system. And the lady got my arm look like I got a fucking track on it and shit. Went to the doctor the other day. The doctor says, oh, maybe you should change your lifestyle. I got this scar from you motherfuckers and shit. Fucking stick nothing on my arm. You got me all twisted. You got me fucked up, lady. You ain't gonna get out on like that. Shit. Got me on stupid. So, I mean, folks, what we got here? We got people getting shot in movie theaters three years apart. Yeah. We got people going in churches. Of course, we got war. We got 
immigrants illegally killing people with FBI weapons. We got a billionaire. He ain't said nothing negative yet. Oh, um, Hulk Hogan. What I what I said here, Hulk Hogan. Now let me. Hopefully, I won't lose this page here. But I'm gonna try to read this other page here. Hold on, folks. Hulk Hogan is no longer listed as a WWE alum. Now, Hulk Hogan was on a radio show. Let's see if I can play this without losing you. Can you hear this, folks? Let's see if it'll play. <laughs> Oh, nothing. It's just that sometimes I wish I looked like the thin cut bacon in the magazine. And you guys, are, you guys are crack lacking up here, talking crazy. Man, I feel still like I'm, I'm in live nightclub, you know. Oh, Dave Gruttenberg, man, I feel like Diplo's just tearing it down, man. The dead mouth is crying. Like I'm on fire. Set. Where's he at? I feel like all the music is beating me. You guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. Yo, you just shocked me, Hulk, man. I thought you were like on some country shit. I don't know why I always thought you listen to country music and all that. Dude, my boy Nick has brought me up to speed, man. Get the fuck out of here. Oh yeah, he's Nick, all... Nick is there every every Sunday, like on all these guys, yeah. man. You know, because you guys are like the new rock stars, you know. Like the new rock stars, I'm like, damn, they got respect for old man Hogan, and they're putting me over, and they're like, dude, they're like, their parents watch me wrestle. Now these guys, no, 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 but the DJs are like crazy, just putting me over. Like it's, I mean, every even back in the day when the Little Wayne started cracking, I mean, everybody, the game, everybody, it's like, wow, you know, Nicki Minaj, everybody's talking about Hulk Hogan. It's like, you guys are like giving me new blood. I'm like relevant. It's like. Not to mention every, all the other crap I'm into, but brother, <laughs> yeah, in the house. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you are very relevant right now, no, buddy. No, I'm like the male. Well, I didn't want to go there. <laughs> you, you've been saying brother for years. Any black guy ever said, yo, you my nigga? Like, yo, you my nigga, Hope. Well, Booker T used to do that to me on TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and every time I pull up YouTube, there's that famous... That famous thing that Booker T, when his brother uh, was there, and they're all talking trash. And <laughs> Booker T goes, "I'm coming for you, Hogan, you nigger." And, and, and not yeah. nigger. He goes, "Nigger." I mean, it's like, and it's still, still so cool because the whole time I was down in Miami, yeah. you know, when I lived there, everybody, you know, like I walk in the booth and all of a sudden I huh. bump into this guy in the games in the booth. It's all black, and he's got his blackberry. Black and I bump into him, and he goes, what's up, nigga? And I, I said, oh, dude, excuse me, bro, you know? He goes, no, it's all cool, you know? And everybody down there, Little Wayne, Birdman, everybody, you know, they're all, you know, calling me nigga. And I'm like, and then I started saying it, you know, and I always said it, just, yeah. and, and, but now all of a sudden I get heat when I say it. Yeah. And they say, oh, you can't say that. I said, well, why can't they say it to me then? It's like, you know, the, but brother, brother was cool because, dude, you know, Back in the day, during my career, I was, used to party real hard. I couldn't remember anybody's name. So the brother was, brother, the, easiest, yeah. brother was the easiest way to hide. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's like the neutral, neutrality word right there. Hey, yeah, brother. yeah. They, 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 you know what? That's a good idea. Yeah. Because I'm always like, hey, yeah. shit. No, they'd introduce me like to, you know, Dick Ebersol or somebody, <laughs> somebody like that or... Or, or somebody that, you know, like like uh, the Les Moon Vest that runs CBS. And, I, and within 10 seconds, I, somebody would walk in, i get ready to say, hey, brother, you know, this is so-and-so. And I was like, you know, I couldn't remember that. So that's where it came from. That's gangster. So when you were partying, what, what was your uh, your poison of choice? Oh, dude, stop. Well, what wasn't it? Wherever you're going, I've already been. <laughs> now, was that worth it? Was that worth losing the man's job, kicked out of the Hall of Fame? Is that worth it? I think um, I was going to um, do something before I even heard about this. About people you grow up with. Now, 
when we grow up, there's a couple of white kids, and you know, right now they can probably say whatever they want to say, whenever they want to say it. Um, growing up, there was people who grew up around you. There was older white people that grew up around, you know, my uncles and people like that. So, you know, this super political correctness has got to, um, it's got to stop. It's because what's going to happen is it's going to hurt. Somebody's going to get hurt. It's going to be where you can't even walk down the street and even say, oh, how are you doing today? You can't ask me how am I doing because that's a personal feeling. That's asking personal information. Therefore, that's against the law. I'm going to call the police. You just ask me some personal information. That's like identity theft. How you doing today? You look nice today. You look nice today to be considered a sexual in you in I feel sexually assaulted. Did you get him for verbal rape? You got to register as verbal rapist. You can't get jobs because you might tell someone that's a nice scarf. Not meaning I'm telling you that. You can't get jobs. Maybe an automaton. So I don't know. Was Hulk Hogan a racist? Or was Hulk Hogan a brother? I don't know, but Hulk Hogan is not Donald Sterling, so you have to look how they pick to divide people. What, well, they going to take all the old wrestling with Hulk Hogan on it off the air? Take every commercial with Hulk Hogan in it off TV? Just like Bill Cosby, I saw a cartoon. Could do it right now. Play the cartoon, and the cartoon was like, "Little girl, Spanish fly," and I think, in my head, I think, did they ever have an episode with the Cosby Kids and Spanish fly? I don't know. I don't care. Is this the world we're in now? It's not for the old unions. This world is for those people who can walk through it with blinders and not see anything. There could be explosions going on behind you. You won't see it because it's not got to... Oh, nothing to do with me. Oh, honey, there was a terrorist thing on TV today. Yeah, I was down there. And not, not, no one's going to care. People are already desensitized enough to think, I could die. That doesn't even make any fucking sense. So I don't even feel like going 40 minutes today. You know why? It's because there's too much bullshit going on. You can't go to a movie. You can't go anywhere. And I'm going to say anywhere, because if I say a specific place and shit, they'll fucking be knocking on my door. Why would you tell them that? Well, all they got to do is go to your fucking movie. Go look at every movie that you have seen in the last, what, the eight months? You know, it's starting with um, X-Men, the, the one where Magneto takes over. Starting with that X-Men all the way to now where have they done the most destruction we have to be stupid not to know where the so called elite are going to hit because we know the cycle because you told us on TV you told us in each and every one of these fucking movies what's going to be hit next and that's the sad part about it you can be one person just like me looking into a screen, trying to tell the world the truth. What idiot you don't know 
where the next idiot target's gonna be. It's stupid. Stop. And you've been too. These people are trying to control the world to do chaos and bullshit this fight. And then they tell us in the movie exactly what they're gonna do. I mean, why the hell do you wanna go to a movie? 